Hi, I'm David with Stinger Equipment, and today I'm going to go over the Stinger OneTouch app that's used to calibrate the Stinger Gateway. The first thing you do is open the app, come back to your machine, select the gateway that you'd like to connect to, select connect. You'll get a six digit security code that's required to enter into the tablet. This changes every time you log in for security. Hit connect. Now Bluetooth is illuminated, you're connected to the gateway. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go in and we'll calibrate the spray presets. We'll select spray presets on the tablet. We'll install the calibration code so we can collect the water from the spray tip. Put the cone over the, tap, the tip, install it, take your calibration picture, set it underneath. So now we'll move forward with the preset calibrations. So go in and select spray presets. You have programs one through five. We have three selected. In here you have the spray pressure at 30 PSI, the current application rate at 0.45 gallons per thousand. You also have a minimum maximum uh, rate you can set. You can set those all the same so the user can't make any changes or it gives them an upper and lower limit. You have the narrow and wide calibrations. This is just the width that the computer uses to calculate the flow rates to match the ground speed. So for your spray width, you'll put in four feet or five feet for the narrow. Wide calibrations, you do eight feet or nine feet. Then you have your flow rate calibrations. You have the left, right, and center spray tips. You can calibrate each one or do one at a time. Right now we're gonna go ahead and calibrate the right spray tip. I installed the calibration cone to catch all the water with the spray tip inside. We have our calibration pitcher, which we place underneath. So I'll go ahead and hit measure. The spray pressure will come on to 30 PSI, which is what I had set. I'll go ahead and select spray. The spray tip turns on. And you can see that the spray time is automatically calculating the time that the, the spray tip is on. Let it run long enough to partially fill the pitcher. Go ahead and hit spray a second time, it'll stop. Take your spray pitcher, let the water settle out. That's approximately 30 ounces. So let in your 30 ounces into the tablet and hit enter. Now the flow rate is 0.731 gallons per minute. I can hit accept, and that's the flow rate and calibration for the spray tip. You can take that same process and do the center and the left or you can manually enter those numbers in. When you've made your changes, the top of the tablet, you have a right button that's highlighted now in blue. Select right, and that stores all the change variables into the controller. And that is how you calibrate the spray presets on the Stinger Gateway Applicator. The next step in the process is to set the hopper gate calibrations. To do this, you take your calibration tool to set the minimum and maximum gate openings. This makes all the hoppers exactly the same. So on the tablet, you have left and right controls. This shows the position of the opening, which currently it's at 0%. We have a thousand steps from open to close on both sides. Here's the buttons here to manually move the hopper to 50%, to 100%, and then back to close. This next row of buttons is micro movements. This is what we use to calibrate the openings. So we'll do the left side first. We'll start to open it, take our feeler gauge, put it in the opening, and then slowly start to close it. The feeler gauge should be in the vertical position. And once you have it, you go ahead and do the other side. Put the feeler gauge in, and slowly start closing the gate until you're in the vertical position. Come over to the tablet, hit set min, set min, and open both gates to the maximum. And now we'll take our feeler gauge, turning it 90 degrees to previously, and set the maximum position. And 
once you get just to start rubbing, if you make it too tight, you can hear the servo moving and the current rising up here on the bar graph. It's too tight. So now we need to open it slightly. So there it's set perfectly. Now we'll come over to the other side. We'll start making it smaller. Now it's too tight, we'll back up a little bit. Now that one's set perfectly. We'll go ahead and hit set max, set max. And then you can test the movements. Look out in the middle to verify that they're even, which they are. That is how you set the hopper gate calibrations. So now we're gonna go through the spread presets to do the spreader calibration. In the calibration kit, we have these hopper extensions, which allows us to move the hopper forward so we can catch the fertilizer easily. So move the hopper forward, go ahead and unplug the connector. Release the quick releases. Tap the back and the hopper comes off. Hopper extension. Put the hopper back on. Take your hopper calibration extension cable, plug it in, plug your hopper back in, get your bucket of fertilizer, approximately half a bag, 25 pounds. So now we're going to set up our custom spread calibration presets. In this example, we're using preset two. We could do preset one or preset five or anywhere in between. So preset two, we have an application rate of three pounds currently in the program. Let's change that to three and a half. We have a min and max we can set. We can set those at three and a half, then the user can't make any changes in the field, but we trust our employees today. So we're gonna set the low at three and the high at four. So in the field, the operator can leave it at three and a half, lower it down to three, but no higher than four. The next row we have narrow and wide, where we have the spread widths. This is what the computer uses to calculate how much material is delivered at the three and a half pounds per thousand rate. The next row down we have the impeller speeds. Your job is to set the impeller speed to match the spread width. You do this in the field after you've already calibrated it. So in the first example for narrow, we have five feet. We'll set the impeller speed to spread just five feet. This will get us 100% coverage in a single pass. For the wide, we'll adjust the impeller speed to throw twice as wide, 18 feet. So we get half rate coverage. In this example, we'll throw back to the center of tire marks of our previous pass. That way you get double coverage. Now you go down to the dispense rates. You have your prill size. You select the prill size for the material you're applying. Today we're doing a 240 prill. So if we select the prill size, we show small, medium, large options. 240 falls in the medium category. So we select medium. We have a low, mid, and a high rate. We'll go ahead and hit measure for the low rate. We'll take our bucket, that's here on our scale, set it underneath the hopper. We'll go ahead and hit dispense, and material will automatically start dispensing. Normally we'll do this for 20 or 30 seconds. For this example, we'll go ahead and hit stop, hit dispense again. It stops automatically after 8.8 .8 seconds. We'll weigh the material on our scale. 1.3 ounces, we'll call that 1.2 pounds. And that's 8.146 pounds per minute. We'll hit accept. Now we'll set our mid calibration point. Hit measure. Go ahead and select dispense. We'll automatically start dispensing. For the example, we'll go ahead and stop. 
stop, hit the step again. It ran for 6.4 seconds. We'll weigh the material. 1.85 ounces, that's 1.55 pounds. And we'll hit accept for that new dispenser rate. For a high flow calibration point, we'll go into dispense under high rate. Hit dispense. We'll hit dispense again, it'll stop automatically. We'll weigh our material. It's 2.12, 2 pounds, 12 ounces, so 2.75. Hit accept. And our calibration is set. Now we'll select right to save our calibration. That's how you calibrate the preset with a gateway applicator.